this is kind of a summary video on the uh, doubled up basal anchor. Um, I realized from questions that I got is that I never actually pictured the anchor in its final climbing configuration and that was my bad. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to just set it up for climbing. Um, I'm going to pass along a couple of new ideas that I think are good additions to the, to the anchor. Uh, if you want construction details, surf over to the other uh, videos and have a look there. Um, uh, this is the girthing line thrown around a, a pretty smooth paper birch. Um, it's the stable braid, doubled up for strength, uh, doubled up for more gripping area on the tree, uh, doubled over so you can form these connections without uh, having a splicing skill. Um, one of the new ideas is to take the arborist rings and treat them like one of those funny um, uh, belts, uh, belt buckles. Um, we're going to um, go over the first ring and under the second ring and that's going to allow me to grab the poly loop and put a pretension into the girthing line and then pull the belt buckle tight and the rings will hold that pretension while I lay in a uh, slip knot and a half hitch uh, to back up the the uh, uh, girthing line. Now you've doubled up. There's strong tension in this girthing line and you've doubled up the gripping force by having the pretension and the weight of the climber uh, when he comes on the, uh, uh, the ocean poly loop. Um, to hook up the down line, a clem heist is nothing more than uh, six or seven wraps of the ice tail loop and you drop the connector uh, through the top of the loop and bring that to the small ring and that forms your um, uh, backup prussic uh, to, the, to the figure eight. Um, I was using the figure eight before um, I've decided uh, I like the rescue aid a little better. You can certainly use either one, but the ears make the lock off uh, a little easier and you have a little more room to, uh, to work in. Um, you put the rope through the rescue aid, you come around, snub it off once, snub it off a second time, pass a bite through the eye of the rescue aid or if you're using a figure eight through the uh, quick link, come back up to the main line and uh, tie off a, uh, an overhand uh, knot and you're now ready to climb. Um, that's your climbing configuration. Now, if someone wants to lower you on purpose, they, uh, untie the overhand knot and they're holding the, the uh, tail of the, of the uh, down line, never letting go, and they begin to unsnub and now they are managing your descent by the brake hand here and controlling the prussic here. But if the lunch bell rings and they go off for a beer and drop the line, it uh, doesn't make any difference. The ice tail of Prusik will still hold you in the tree and you'll see that there's virtually no motion uh, because of the pretension and because of this little triangle taking up whatever slack there is, uh, everything stays girth and you stay uh, safely in the tree. Uh, that's it. You can build it for about uh, 20 or 30 bucks and some cordage. Um, good luck with it.